Greetings. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the infamous uh, closet of truth. Too bad I don't have my music working in the closet of truth. Alright, greetings, Brother Myron. How are you? Too bad I don't have my um, music to, to get me going, uh, ladies and gentlemen. But, yes, it is it is hammer time. Absolutely. Um, I just got done uh, looking at some. Yes, it is I, Triple H. Yes, uh, back in the flesh. You know, uh, that that's Jim Jordan right there in the background. Uh, good Good evening, or afternoon, April. How are you? Yes. Yes. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the likes. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a terrible week for the Republican Party, to say the least. It's been a very, very terrible week. And at this point, they... I, 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 no room to talk. No room to debate. Hello, Jewel. Nice to see you. To the Republican Party and the Trump supporters, there's no more room to talk. Grumpy greetings, all right, Joe. You changed your name to Grumpy Monk. Interesting, Edwin. I see you have subscribed and became a god in the kingdom. Well, thank you, uh, Grumpy Monk. I do appreciate that. Uh, for oh no, no uh, Tanya, Tanya. Wait, 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 wait. I haven't even, I haven't even began to talk about my grievance yet. How do you, how are you going to talk about? It's a terrible week. For the Democrats, okay? Democrats are doing just fine. Mario, thank you for the gifts, okay? Uh, anyone possible? Anyone possible able to bless? Okay. Uh, uh, um, conservative Lynn. Uh, I don't think you're going to be too happy about Jim Jordan. Because as backed by popular demand, I'm here with receipts, Okay. And I got some more sad news for the Republican Party. And you know my hammer, uh, conservative Lynn. My hammer is the strongest hammer you've probably ever not seen. <laughs> it's undefeated. It really is. It, it really is. Mm. But what do I got? Greetings, Brother Greg. What do I got? Yes, Tracy. Yes, it is I. It is I, ladies and gentlemen, Triple H. And why do they call me Triple H? I, you know, thank you for the hat. Yes, uh, I, I hate to do it, but if you watch, you know, wrestling and you like those wrestlers, they all got their signature move. Okay, Zeus does have a signature move, and it's the Triple H effect, all right? Thank you, Brother Greg. Oh, Fanny, nice to see you. They call me Triple H because I am honest, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, the first H stands for honest. There's nobody more honest than me, hands down. Next, humble. I am the most humble person on TikTok. There's nobody more humble than me. If I step on your toes, I will apologize. No, this, this is true. If I step on your toes, I'll apologize. I'm sorry I stepped on your toes. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to take your parking spot. If I'm out there and I'm, I'm trying to park and somebody takes the parking spot, and I take their parking spot on accident. I'm sorry I didn't mean to do it. I'll back out and let them have the spot. And the last H, ladies and gentlemen, is because I am handsome. <laughs> I'm the most handsome out here. But I do, despite the fact that I got all these things going in my favor. There is a dark side about me, okay? And the dark side about me uh, is... That I am a proud Democrat, and I do not mind holding Trump supporters and folks on the right accountable. That's, that's my thing right now. So I'm going to get into it. I'm going to get into it. So I got Jim Jordan up, and, and, and I said earlier at the top of the live, listen up. Uh, I said it's a terrible week for the Republicans. The reason it is is because on Wednesday, James Comer was supposed to deliver the goods on President Biden, the influence peddling. He was supposed to do it. I got the receipts right here. And guess what? Fox News host called James Comer out for failing in his Biden probe. So 
the Republican Party took another L because we caught them with their hands in the cookie jar lying. What dirt do you got on President Biden? None. I don't want to hear about Hunter Biden. Okay, during the interview with the GOP House Oversight Chairman on Fox and Friends, and you know how I feel about Fox, uh, it came out. I do. I know the Republicans said that the smoking gun were these financial records that you were able to subpoena and got your hands on. This is what they said. Okay, in your party, the Republican investigators say that that's proof of influence peddling by Hunter and James. <clears throat> but that's just your suggestion. James Comer, that's just your suggestion. So not even Fox News, Fox and Friends believed James Comer this week. So that's the first strike on the Republican Party. Then you got George Santos indicted. George Santos indicted stealing money from his supporters so he could go shopping in the Louis store. He's in the Louis Vuitton store. He's in the Ferragamo store like he's some sort of rapper. Make this make sense. Oh, 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 oh. You see right there, conservative Lynn, that's the conduct that I'm talking about. Did you see what they put out there? No one compares, uh, no one cares about George Santos. You cared about him enough to put him in office and you elected a criminal. Okay, so you do care about him. They, they do this when these folks get in the office and then they make a fool of themselves. You know what they do? They turn around and they blame Mike Pence. Mike Pence is a traitor. How is Mike Pence a traitor, Trump? Seriously? He had his attorneys in there. You should have seen Trump on CNN. His attorney, he told me, his attorneys told him, we can't, we can't do anything legally. Okay, and he called Mike Pence a conveyor belt. Ah, I caught that, Trump. And shame on you for saying that about the vice president. Mike Pence did an excellent job uh, on January 6th, but unlike Unlike the rest of those folks who support Trump, Mike Pence did a great job. Uh, 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 what did that say? Biden for president 2024. Thank you, conservative Lynn. I knew you would wake up and smell the coffee. All right. So we got James Comer out of the way. We did. Who else did we get out of the way? We got George Santos. He's out of the way. Ron DeSantis is a non-factor right now. I'm not too worried about him. No, you know, you said, you said it right the first time, conservative, Lynn. You were right. Biden 2024 for president. Those of you who are listening, conservative Lynn did endorse President Joe Biden in this live, and I knew she would come around. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the receipts on Jim Jordan. What a great way to end your Friday. Uh, here it goes. Statement of Mark Pomerantz given at his deposition on May 12, 2023, let me check my watch. May 12, 2023 is today. So he gave this today to Jim Jordan right there. You could tell it made Jim Jordan's day, huh? <laughs> Let's see what he said. I am here because I respect the rule of law. I spent my working life in service to the rule of law. This is what Mark Palmer, and this is the guy that was the first one that wanted to bring charges against Donald Trump for those hush money payments that he made to Stormy Daniels behind his wife's back. Melania is pregnant. This guy has a has an addiction or something. Trump has an addiction to you know what? It's disgusting. I can't even say it on TikTok. But this guy that wanted to prosecute him, Jim Jordan subpoenaed him because Alvin Bragg bought those 34 charges against Trump. Now Jim Jordan wants to act like he's some sort of superhero. Okay, and, and, and the person he subpoenaed, Mark Pomerantz, responded in kind. I'm not lying. This is a real statement. Go look it up. What I do not respect is the use of the committee's subpoena power to compel me to participate in an act of political theater. Shame, these folks wasting taxpayer money doing this. This, dep this deposition is for show. I do not believe for a moment that I am here to assist in a genuine effort to enact legislation or conduct legislative oversight. We are gathered here. Here's the, here's the big part. We are gathered here because Donald Trump's supporters 
would like to use these proceedings to attempt to obstruct and undermine the criminal case pending against him and to harass, intimidate, and discredit anyone who investigates it or charges him. Thought we were a party of law and order. I really did. We're not a party of law and order when, when Jim Jordan is working for Donald Trump to harass to harass people because they're investigating Trump and his crimes. We're not a, you're not a lot of, you're not the party of law and order. Listen, I know, listen, they get out here and they say that I'm lying. How am I lying when I'm reading you the man's statement, folks? I'm reading you his statement. I wish this thing could show it. Three pages. He said it himself. How is, how am I lying? You're lying because you're saying I'm lying. How about that? Fortunately, this is the this is the zinger. Fortunately, I do not have to cooperate with the cynical histronics that this deposition represents. Dropping big words. Although the rule of law compels me to be here, it does not require that I play a substantive role in your theatrical production. Yeah, this isn't Hollywood, Jim Jordan. This is not Hollywood. Under the law, I can decline to answer your questions. For several reasons. Would you like to get into them? I'm not making this stuff up. By the way, please put the blue waves in the comment section, folks. Because I want the people here, the Trump supporters, especially the Republicans, conservative Lynn too. I want her to see all of the support Joe Biden has. Yes. Okay. If you're a subscriber here, go ahead and put the uh, Alvin Bragg. Put the Alvin Bragg pictures up, okay? Because Jim Jordan just took an L today. The Republican Party has taken L's all week. Like I said, James Comer, L. George Santos, L. And today, Jim Jordan, another L. And they sit up here and they complain. Thank you for the gift. And they sit up here and they complain about President Biden. Like I said two days ago, I'm thriving with Biden. And if you don't like it, something's wrong with you. Vote blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Now here's the reason. First, I've been instructed by the Manhattan District Attorney's Office that I should maintain that office's claim of privilege and confidentiality in order to protect the integrity of the pending prosecution and continuing investigation of Donald Trump. Yes, Donald Trump is a criminal being investigated. I intend to honor the district attorney's request and I will not answer questions to which the district attorney objects. We're not answering those questions, Jim Jordan. Sheesh. And they get mad at me because I'm out here telling the truth. I'm not. Listen, I'm reading his statement. OK, this is true. You can go read it for yourself. Although I have written and spoken publicly about the Trump investigation, I did so before any criminal charges were brought against Mr. Trump. Now that a grand jury has indicted him, the circumstances have changed. So you get out here and you listen to these folks say he wasn't arrested because there was no mugshot and they didn't see him in handcuffs. Right here is proof. Once again, he was arrested. If, there, if you go into a live, I'm going to say this. If you go into a live and they lie to you, just leave. Ask the, ask the host of whatever live you go into. If you say, who was responsible for January 6th? And they turn around and say, well, you know, it was a Nancy Pelosi. It was Ray Epps. Just leave the live because every, everything else is going to be downhill after that. I guarantee you. If you if you ask them, did Biden steal the 2020 election and they go, well, you know, just leave because these folks are lying to you. They don't care about you. And you know what really gets me? It's the fake outrage. I was I was I was watching a live uh, a few days ago, maybe and actually one today, too. What they want to do is they're frustrated because their leader is currently being investigated on multiple fronts, criminal especially, okay? We just seen the verdict come out of the E. Jean Carroll. These folks are frustrated. And what do they do? <laughs> what do they do? They turn around and start yelling at innocent people on TikTok. It's the most bizarre thing I have ever seen, folks. Thank you for the follows, by the way. 
It's the most bizarre thing. Listen, I'm a nice person. Most people who talk, who know me, I'm a very nice person, but I'm big on accountability, folks. And that's what this is about. This is this is all about holding Donald Trump accountable. And if his supporters are enabling him, making sure we let them know, guess what? That's not going to work anymore. 2016, fine, you snuck in through the back door. You did. But right now, oh no, we got receipts, we got evidence, we got docket numbers, we got video footage. Okay, uh-uh-uh, no, we we going to talk about it before we get into that booth. Oh, before you get out there and start voting, we going to talk about it. What is the elephants for, uh, Poker Dad? <laughs> now let's get into this some more, and then I'm going to open up the box because you know me. I'm not afraid to talk to anybody because all this is about is truth and accountability. And it's not that difficult when you're as seasoned as I am and as many of my friends are. It don't matter what side of the aisle you're on. If you come in honest and truthful and accountable, we're going to have a great conversation. If you come in yelling, I'm going to hit the drop button. I'm going to go on about my day. <laughs> now let's get to it. Although I have written and spoken publicly about Trump's investigation, I did so before any criminal charges were brought against Mr. Trump. Now that a grand jury has indicted him, the circumstances have changed. With formal charges now pending, the rule of law is best served if the merits of the case against Mr. Trump are litigated before the court that is hearing the case. Remember, law and order. This is neither the time nor a place for me to answer questions about the investigation or the pending indictments over the objection of the prosecutors. Listen up, folks. This is truth. I'm reading it. I'm reading. I'm not making this stuff up. These charges against Mr. Trump should be heard and decided by a judge and a jury before politicians second guess their merits or decisions to bring them. In other words, Jim Jordan, take a back seat. Get in the back of this because you have no clue what you're doing. You're just in the way. That's how our system works. Those who claim that they have, that they respect the rule of law should wait for the courts to do their work. If you say you respect the rule of law, if you say you back the blue, wait for the court to do its work. I wish I had my big hammer so I could bring it down and let conservative Lynn know what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know if she's here. I'm just teasing, folks. She knows, she knows what I'm talking about because she came in and told me my hammer was small. She said she thought my hammer was broken. Okay, so she knows I got to make sure she knows my hammer is the strongest one she's ever not seen. <laughs> All right. Second, the rule of law also affords me a personal privilege not to answer your questions. Uh-oh. Uh, pleading the fifth, perhaps. Under the Fifth Amendment of the Constitution, no person may be compelled to be a witness against himself nor herself in a possible criminal case. So he invokes the Fifth. Shortly before the publication of my book, the district attorney's office warned me that I could face criminal liability if, among other things, I disclosed grand jury materials or violated a provision of the New York City Charter dealing with misuse of confidential information. So in other words, unfortunately, Jim Jordan, you are not above the law and you're not going to get me in trouble with the law. So I'm not telling you nothing. Okay, when we were before the United States District Court on April 19th, a lawyer from Manhattan District Attorney's Office said that my book exposed me to criminal liability. While I'm certain I broke no laws, I am not required to answer questions if it's my answers might be used against me in a criminal prosecution. There you go. There you go. The Fifth Amendment is a protection for all citizens, including those who have done nothing wrong. Therefore, on the advice of counsel, I will invoke my rights under the Fifth Amendment 
and I will not answer any questions that could be conceivably used against me in a criminal case, Jim Jordan. Yeah, wipe that, that smug look off your face, Jim Jordan. Because you're getting taken to task right now. Finally, the rule of law permits me to refuse to answer questions that are not pertinent or legitimate legislative function or that seek information that is protected by the First Amendment guarantee of freedom of speech. Under due process clause of the Fifth Amendment, I cannot be punished for refusing to answer such questions. Therefore, my other privileges, such as the attorney-client privilege or the work product privilege that are available to me with respect to certain questions, for all these reasons, I will not be answering questions that relate to my work in the DA's office, my book or public statements I have made in the past. It gives me no joy to invoke my legal rights, but I am glad that the law allows me not to cooperate with this performative act of political theater. It's political theater what Jim Jordan is doing. The Republican Party, as far as I'm concerned, has taken nothing but L's all week. And yet, you take your anger and frustration out on the Democrats. The Democrats had nothing to do with this. This has everything to do with the fact that you got folks like Jim Jordan, James Comer, okay, and George Santos, who are clearly not qualified to do the job. You should not be voting for these people, folks. As an American, I am privileged to have the legal rights that I assert today, and I am hopeful that I live in a country that will continue to respect them. The end. That is what you call Jim Jordan taken, being taken to task and told, get on out of here, okay, because you don't know what you're doing being Donald Trump's water boy, okay? Carrying Donald Trump's water all over Congress. You didn't made a mess on yourself now, Jim Jordan. So, uh, to my friends, my Democrat friends, please put those blue waves in the comment section. We can, we can go to sleep this weekend with our heads high, knowing that we did a great job this week, making sure we keep holding these folks accountable. Even Fox News had to agree that James Comer... Didn't have any dirt on Hunter Biden. I mean, wow. And, and now they're crying about the border crisis, right? I, I hear them crying. Uh, uh, the border this and the border that. Biden never said those borders are open. It was the Republicans that keep going around saying the borders are open. The borders are open. Come on over. It's them. It's not the Democrats. It's the Republicans who are holding up the debt ceiling. Stopping the, trying to cut uh, the number of uh, law enforcement that can be there at those borders. So as far as I'm concerned, uh, I got a video up. You see who's upset. It's Ted Cruz. It's Ted Cruz, folks. <laughs> All right, I got to talk to some of the people out here because, you know, uh, people try to say I don't want to talk. I talk to everybody, folks. All right. One of my good friends. Uh, if this is an echo chamber, so be it. I don't care. <laughs> uh, Nutty Professor, greetings. What's good? What's good? What happened this morning? Why can't I get in this morning? Uh, I don't know. Did your box malfunction? Well, no, it didn't. Uh, on my end, it didn't show. It didn't show where I could even request. Oh, oh, my, my, my. There's nothing wrong with my account. It must be your account. Mm. Thank yeah, you for I, the follows. I, 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 Thank you yeah, I kept I kept asking, but anyway, so yeah. um, yeah, so Jim Jordan, uh, uh, James Comer, uh, they're just gonna they're gonna keep they're gonna keep uh, doing stuff to waste the taxpayers' dollars because you know you talked about what uh, Benghazi this morning and mm -hmm. talked about the constant uh, investigating, investigating, and then come up with nothing. Yeah. That's exactly what they keep doing. And I want folks to realize yeah, that man. this is your tax paying dollars that they're spending. These investigation costs millions of dollars. So if they're going to have them, have them in good faith. Right. And if nothing comes about it at the end, then we will accept that. But just to have them, to keep having them and wasting tens of millions of our tax dollars, the devil 
is a lie. The it's devil gotta stop. is a lie. I love it when you it's say it. The stop. devil is a lie. Mm. Oh, it, it, so, it's it's got to stop. So they're wasting taxpayers' money, is what you're saying? Well, one thousand percent, one thousand percent. And one one more thing, Zeus. Zeus, you know what? So we you say this, we say this, all of us say this almost on a daily basis. And I'm going to stop saying it. Mm. We don't need to keep saying if Joe Biden did blah blah blah, then hold him accountable. We already know this, right? right so. Right. That that's already getting the vibe to me. You know the vibe that you know they say it, it's all man until it's no man. Mm -hmm. That I'm putting that in that same category because no. we already know we already know that if if Biden or anyone else did anything wrong, hold them accountable. Right. Period. Right. Right. Like, no, no. No unwavering loyalty to toxic behavior. That is, Not over that is absolutely that is absolutely our flex right there. Yeah. Accountability. Exactly. Accountability. Hello, so let's just, stop, let's just stop saying it because you know what? They don't hear us anyway. They don't hear us anyway. They don't. They No, no, no. They do hear us, but they lie to themselves and us. That's the next level of mental gymnastics that they've mastered. They hear you. I talk to these Trump supporters all the time. I've done so much. I've done many hours of service in the Trump lives. I've mastered it. They hear you. But, I'm I'm gonna need Jim Jordan mm -hmm. with a G to take his his little raggedy butt Tell him. back to back to wow. Ohio. Thank you, DJ. And and answer the charges of Ohio State and you not and you covering up SA when you was a coach for wrestling at Ohio State. I need oh. you to get your butt back to Ohio oh. and answer to that. Oh. Oh. And you don't need to be in Congress, my friend. Oh. And because why did Jim no respond to the subpoena that he got? Well, you, you are no better than George Santos. Thank you, TJ. Because yes, yes we know Sant we know Santos lied, but at least at least you know he's somewhat being held accountable. You all are the same pea from the same pod. Get him all out of you here. are alike. All of y'all, y'all all are alike. They are. They know it. And they know because, they know we've caught them with their hands in the cookie jar. But what see, it won't. Got, what do you got on President Biden? Nothing. What do you got on the Democrats? Nothing. Nothing. And, and if you do, wrong, if you do, wrong. if you do, bring the receipt. <laughs> bring the receipts. Put us in our place. I want to be put in my place. If That's you're gonna right. tell me in the comments, if you're gonna tell me in the comments that I'm wrong prove that i'm wrong because i can prove that i'm right right we got the receipts thank you thank you T -drink. Look at i can smoke. absolutely prove i can prove that i'm right i can <laughs> prove what i said about jim jordan covering up sa at ohio state i can prove that that's correct i got so many receipts over here you think i'm getting audited by uh, the irs or something the way we got receipts over here <laughs> so you know i just I fear, I fear the direction of our country. I, I'm one of those people that would cringe whenever I hear the the term "vote blue" no matter who, right? Because I, I absolutely don't believe that. But you know what, Zeus? What's that? I've had a change of heart. I understand. Sometimes I've had a change of heart because so now, now I'm all team blue no matter who because we got to get these fascist monkeys out of government. Oh, okay, out of government. Okay, good. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, and, and, and I read it earlier today. That they're doing a lot of that stuff that's tied to the fascist movement. They are. I read it today. the The FBI released a lot of credible data that suggests that this very well could be going on in the Republican Party. So either you're gonna clean up your act. Or we're going to keep having these tough conversations until we get it right, folks. <laughs> Woo! Well, they don't like well, us because we tell the truth, uh, Nutty Professor. But guess what? We'd rather be realer than them than to be out here believing lies. Right? Absolutely, my friend. Uh, you, you keep, you keep uh, bringing the closet of truth. I will. Um. Oh, so, so oh, a play on your little Triple H thing. So I, I saw in the comments this morning uh, when Felix got in the box, they're uh -huh. they're terming Felix as Triple F. 
Ned is already <laughs> taken by Poker Dad. So sorry. No, no, I, I'm saying I like that. That's funny. Fl- oh. Flip flop, Felix. I like. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Fl- flip, flip flop, Felix. Felix. You know, oh listen to God. all the people in the comments. I, I do want to say this. We actually do like Felix. He is a good. He's misguided, but he's a good guy. Yeah. He Felix, is, Felix is a good guy. He, he he just needs to, to 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 make his mind up and stick to it, okay? But it is what it is with him. Mm. Yeah. Well, my friend, I got to get on out of here. You have a good one. All right. You too. Yes, sir. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, Nutty Professor, once again, coming in sturdy and early. And you know what we're talking about. If you want to come up and talk to Zeus, come on up. Uh, there's really There's really no tricks to what I'm doing. We are, uh, I'm just pointing out that the Republican Party, as you can see, has had a terrible week all week long. No results. None. James Comer, where's the dirt on Hunter Biden and President Biden? None. George Santos. Okay. Oh, you're feeling lazy, Fanny. That's understandable. Where's George Santos? You stealing people? people's money and going to the Louis store like you a rapper? L, 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 L. And last but not least, Jim Jordan, getting taken to task. Wow, wow, let's do it. I haven't heard from my good friend, Jewel. How are you, Jewel, how are you? I'm doing all right, how are you? I'm doing all right, just working out in the closet of truth as usual. Uh, What brings you to the kingdom? You know, I'm really concerned about that the government is not running. Oh. And, um, you know, like the House of Representatives, ever since the Republicans have taken over, they're more worried about this witch hunt against the Bidens than actually running the country. Right. We're weeks, we are weeks away from defaulting right. on the debt. Why are we not focusing on that? Right. Anyone out there? I can't speak for the Republican Party. Anyone out there in the Republican Party world, can you answer the question? Oh, it, conservative it, it's a Senate. real issue that, a, that there's so much divisiveness in this country and it's been mm-hmm. that way for many years now mm-hmm. that this division is killing us as a country. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The more we're divided, the more we're, I mean, it's like a, the plumbing is, is, you know, needing to get, uh, you know, the plumber to come over and <laughs> do this mess. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and who would you say is causing this division in your, in your humble opinion? I see you conservatively and I see. Uh, I, I think honestly, it's a lot of push and pull on both sides. Mm. of he said she said but the problem is when you get high enough in the government i'm sorry there's corruption that will always re- be there in dc uh, uh, there will uh, never uh, be anybody who's completely straight and narrow i'm sorry um but, but, but when but, you're that but, high up you're going to be greasing somebody's wheels but jewel you know i love you dearly but we know there's one main person out there that's promoting oh, hatred absolutely Oh, okay. You the man with me. the orange slices. I don't thank like him. You. Thank you. By the way, thank you for the gift. Uh, so it's Donald J. Trump that's not helping to unite the country. He's the divider in chief, and he's not helping Congress do their job with all of these sideshow activities. Absolutely. And I would be absolutely rep- if anybody would actually want to see the orange man back in the White House after the antics this year, especially this week. I know there's nobody out there that wants Trump in the White House ever again. Not not in this live. I know they're not in this live. If so, uh, uh, uh-uh-uh. I want to hear from you. Why do you think Donald Trump should be in the White House? Mm. He, I mean, just think about like as a kid, a lot of people is like, oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be president. So what hmm. are they really saying? I want to be somebody who essays people and, you know, gets away with stuff. I mean, hmm. come on. Do hmm. we really want him to represent the country? 
Uh, make that make sense. You didn't defile the, the whole idea of what it takes to be a wholesome president in the United States. Now we got to accept that the president of the United States should be allowed to possibly go around and do this stuff. Nope, not on our watch. No, it, so, it's disgusting and vile. Mm. And there there is a particular blonde person that can't keep her mouth shut either. Who? Um, a, a certain MTG. Oh, Marjorie Taylor Green. Yeah, yeah, she's ruining it. Uh, I, I mean, honestly, I think that her hair should be brown because her head is straight up somebody's butt. Ah! <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one, Jewel. That is a very good one. But you're right. Uh, the the two making... are very vile. Huh? The, the orange man and MTG are very vile. Well, some being... people think they would be good, you know, president and vice president. What do you think? It, they need muzzles and they need to be caged. Mm. Mm. I guess I guess I guess you have your 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 own way of dealing with these things, but it's sad that that's what you believe they need because it would be nice if we could just have civil conversations with these folks, right? Wouldn't it be nice? They don't know what civil is. Oh, period. I said what I said. <laughs> oh my god, Jewel. Oh my goodness. Listen. I always appreciate you coming up in the lives and checking in with me okay but i'm gonna have to check in with some of our other friends are you are uh uh but i want you to sit back and tell me what you think about what they're saying i might have to bring you back up well i'll, I'll say this really quick um mm. you know i do poetry and there's a certain one i like to do having to do with uh truth and it says something like this go ahead it go says ahead. that um that truth doesn't have versions mm. that there's versions of the story and only one truth mm. and like oil and water no matter how much you shake it up the oil always surfaces to the top baby so guess what the truth always comes out in the end amen amen and, 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 so and i will leave you with that thank you jewel Ooh. it's always a pleasure to have you come in here and share those nice kind words and let folks know exactly what the truth is okay i appreciate you you are welcome all right i'll see you on the flip side all right and i will be seeing you as well keep up the great work ladies and gentlemen uh jewel deserves a round of applause um all right now uh this is my my good friend conservative lynn she wants to come in and talk to the man with the hammer conservative lynn is this you it is me oh okay so you got a real account this time huh a real account what do you mean yeah you you got all these accounts i never know who's the real person behind it so i want to oh, make sure because I, I, let, I, to the I, real let, deal. I let people borrow them okay yeah that's what i'm saying i want to make sure i'm talking to the real deal yeah the, it's the real deal is it you or do you got help with you? I want to know how many people I'm dealing with. Yeah, just me. Okay. So, so the lady that was up before, I think her name was Jules. Yes, great right. friend of mine. Right, just so that she's aware, there's actually two bills that have been done in the last 30 days that actually do exactly what she was saying we weren't doing. It's uh, 2 HR2, which is on the border. What's that about? It's about the border. Also, oh, the bills, the border's fixed now. No. They, they've oh. actually passed the house. It, it passed the house, mm. right? And it actually it actually fixes the border issue. Yeah. And also H.R. 2811, which uh, deals with the debt ceiling and um, the budget. So those are, those are you're saying they're, they're, they're right there in the hopper and they're just about to get passed? They've, they've, they've both been passed by the house. Oh, so, so if yeah, you were they wrote to... the bill, they wrote the bills, and then they passed them through the house. Who so they've already uh the republicans oh okay so so where do you think they're gonna end up you think biden's gonna sign them i think biden's gonna veto both of them 
Oh, so we're not getting anywhere. This is another <laughs> failed exercise by the Republican but, Party. But the, no, no, no. It's not a failed exercise by the Republican Party. It would be the failure on behalf of the president because he doesn't want to help the economy. And he doesn't want to fix the border. But mm. that's not because the Republicans aren't coming up with ideas, introducing and passing bills and trying to get legislation done. Mm. So this first bill that you said he's that the Republicans have written that's going to address the border, right? Yep. Yep. What would you say are the top three things this bill will put into place to help the border? What are the um, three top three things? It builds the wall. It uh, does unarmed aircraft and it prevents, um, it limits asylum seekers. Oh, and, through the ports of entry. And, 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 and so you think with those things, that'll solve the crisis? Well, actually, there's like 10 things listed. So if you actually go and read the bill, it's about 213 pages. Oh, you go no. read it. If you go oh. read the entire bill, there's there's a whole layout on how but, to fix the border. But 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 here but here's my problem. Motion uh, sensors, uh, K, uh, what is it? Um, so the, so if this bill if this bill is on its way to being passed, why are they so upset? Why are the Republicans so upset? If this bill is going to solve the problem, and, and why wasn't it passed when Trump was president? No no no, we had border policy underneath Trump. What was it? It was the wall. Plus the drones and all those other things. He was actually you know the wall. This. Do, do you know these real people? I've talked to them. They said, we just throw up a ladder and some rope and we climb that wall all the time. How do you think the wall is really a policy? It's not a policy. Anybody can well, think of if that. You, if, you read, if, you, if you read 2HR2, it actually has lots of things in it. It has a way to, uh, it has sensors. It has infrared. It has ways for them to look to see if anybody's okay. tunneling. So um, you got drones, you've got a lot of technology, you've got extra security, you've got um, extra border agents that go down. They're limiting asylum, they are put, building the wall, obviously, and any money and any funding that had already been set aside for that is now going to be appropriated, and they gave time limits for these things to happen. So again, if people want to know what the Republicans are proposing, it is 2 HR2, it passed the House okay. yesterday. Okay, now I gotta ask this question because I do this to everybody sure. that comes in here. Some people in the comment section are saying you're you're lying, you're making this stuff up. Go look it up, Congress.gov. Don't take my word for it. I want you to go read the bill. Okay. Um, okay, so there's 150,000 migrants. I'm making this up, and they want to come across to the United States. Uh -huh. the bills you were just referencing. Yep. Out of 150,000, how many of them do you think it would stop? Um, it's going to it's going to stop all of them from coming in illegally. So it's 100% successful. If you if you implement all the systems, it will be 100% successful. It'll be a hell of a lot better than it is now. With nothing, really. I mean, you know what? Uh, you have a lot of faith um, in this bill, but. You did say it probably most likely won't be signed by President Biden. No, um, he's going to veto it, but that's but that's the failure on his end. That's not, not the failure no, 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 on the public no, 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 side. Wait, 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 wait. Now, you know in this live, we got to be honest. I have a list of accomplishments President Biden has done. And, and, okay, and, and, so and, what? So, okay, so perfect. What are his accomplishments with the border? Um, the border is currently being dealt with, okay? Him and Kamala Harris... They got bills lined up, and you should see these bills. They're some of the best bills that money can give you, okay? And I believe it's going to trump the border bill that you just talked about, okay? So uh, I can't disclose the details of it right now, conservative Lynn, but it's there. <laughs> see how that works? Oh, my goodness. Hey, where did you go? Conservative I'm here. Lynn. I'm here. Did you get a call? No, it, my low battery hit. So oh, you well, asked me for a specific bill number. I gave you a specific bill number well, well, and you asked me for the top number. three. Hold on to two HR two. Then right. you asked me for the top three things that I think will help in that bill. I told you how yes. I told you where to find it. I told right. you how many pages it was. And I told you several other things that were, th were within you, that. You bill. know what I was really looking for? And this is why I said Biden actually has uh, ideas, right? You didn't provide me with a path for legalized immigration in the, I, I said what are the top three your thing is we're gonna throw sensors uh what else did you say we're gonna put a wall infrared, up infrared uh yeah, 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 drones yeah. Well, walls well, 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 all those things that it limits 
Okay. What about the people that want to legally immigrate to the United States? Why doesn't your bill address that? It, That's it, the problem. It does. It limits asylum. Oh. It Hold on. It limits asylum oh. seekers. It actually oh. deals with people that are on extended visas that are revoked. Um, it deals with the process for that. So what you have to do is you have to go and clean it up first before you come in with a brand new plan. But right now, because Title 42 is expired, you have to stop the bleeding somehow. So this is okay. first my, to that. Okay, so then my last question is this about the border. Then I got to ask you about the, the dirt on Biden next. Uh, so how long would this new, once the bill that you're saying the Republicans have written, it's real grand, uh, how long does it take to implement? Seven days. <laughs> no, it says within seven days of the passing of this bill on some oh, things. There's 90 they, days on one of them. So they, they, do, they do specific time. They're, it's not going to cost any new money. It's all the money that's already been appropriated to the border is going to go to the border. The other thing is, the other thing is, is uh, they have specific time limits on all of the all of the policies that they're trying to put into place. So one seven days, another one's 90 days. It's It's actually very well thought out. Mm. Um, I encourage everybody to go read it. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to say I don't agree with that, but I'll let you believe what you want. Um, so I got more questions. You don't agree with what? What part don't you agree with? The, the whole the whole thing is not going to cost any money. We could implement it in seven days. Uh, and, 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 and the wall, when it goes up and the sensors and the infrared, it's going to stop 150,000 people because it's going to be that effective. And the only thing holding it up is President Biden. I just don't buy it. I just don't. But you and I, we can agree to disagree. Let's talk about let's talk about the debt ceiling thing now. Uh, so what did you okay. say? You said that the Republicans wrote a bill to H.R. 2811. And, and it includes cuts to the to the border, I heard. It, no, what it does is it puts everything back to fiscal year 2022, right? Because when we're talking about dealing with uh, inflation in order to get, get it down to disinflation, in order to achieve that, there's one of three ways we can do it. We can either, we well, we could actually imp implement all of them, but I'm hoping we don't have to do that. Yeah, no. um, you can either A, uh, cut spending, right? B, you can raise the unemployment rate or... You can, and then the third way is war. Those are the three ways that our economy has historically rebounded. Economists actually did a really good, um, a really good study on this from the 1950s forward, talking about how infl the the rate of inflation is actually uh, directly linked to unemployment and how it's how it affects it. So, like right now, our inflation rate is at like 8.98 percent. Oh. So if our inflation rate is, is almost 9%, then um, in order to get it down to around 2.5%, unemployment would have to go up to 10.6% mm. as per the economists. Okay, and, and, and so, so you're saying this bill right now, if it was to put in place, it would bring inflation down to? No, in, in order, no, in order... Because so you have to. So you have to cut spending, right? Where you are you have to cut, cut it at? Because I heard they're cutting the program. To you're the you're you're going across the board at fiscal year 2022. So look at it this way, Zeus. Every single household, uh -huh. especially in the middle class, uh -huh. right? Um. No, no, no. Inflation. Is, so people that are saying that inflation is 5%, that's just for this month. But when mm. you put it in with the energy costs mm. and you look at the full picture, it's actually 8.98%. I just checked it this afternoon. Oh, oh okay. Um, so also, um, crap, where was I? Yeah, yeah. Well, well here's the thing about it. Um, I'm just going to say this. I, I don't think that those bills, that if they exist, I don't really think they're going to have a good chance at moving forward because they don't seem to take into consideration the real realities that many Americans are experiencing. Right. This That's where I was at. Thank you, Zeus. Thank you for reminding me. So everybody has to make these <laughs> decisions when they go to the grocery store, when they go to the gas pump. Oh they have to really on their spending. They can't do anything extra, right? They can't go on vacations. They can't do all of these things that they would normally be able to do because they had no, more no, no, money. No, no. Now, hold on. Uh, hold on. Uh, when hold was on. the last time hold you were on. on vacation? Weren't hold you just on. on vacation recently? No, I was not on vacation oh, recently. Oh, I've seen a lot of people out here crying that they can't afford things, and then I go into their TikTok pages, and, and they're flying high. They're eating at these fancy restaurants. I mean, 
I don't yeah. get it. And they're sending Trump their money. So I just wanted to Yeah, double check. that's not me. Um, oh, also, so you're really out here struggling. Um, I'm not. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm struggling, but I'm not um, being able to save as much as I was before. Oh, mm, so okay. so the issue the issue that that a lot of Americans are facing right is they're having to dip into four hundred one ks, they're having to dip into savings. Some people are having to pick up second jobs. Sometimes there's uh, homes that have historically been able to just be a one income household. They're now now having to go to two income households, <laughs> and you know everybody's just having a hard time, harder time, right? So if we're having to cut back on our spending and be a little bit more responsible with our spending because of inflation and because of our bills, don't you think that the people that are making the policies that, that affect that, they should have to cut back on some spending? I, I'm pretty sure, you know, we don't need a bunch of extra stuff added to our budget when our basically okay. we're just printing uh, money and devaluing I, I, I personally don't think that budget you're proposing would do good for me uh because of the things that i got going on what i want to see is cooperation from the republican party with the democrats well, on a solution well, why well, can't we get well, that i don't under but, but here's the thing i don't understand what the issue is because it's just bringing everything back to fiscal year 2022 which we, was we, also we, passed we're, we're well hold on situation. hold on which was which was also passed with bipartisan uh support right for the 2022 spending so basically all it's doing is just saying hey you know what it we just can't afford to do all this stuff it also reappropriates any mis misappropriated covid funds oh my uh, it cuts down some yes. on some of the some of the some of the green new deal stuff it yeah. cuts out some irs okay, jobs yeah. you know things like that, that I, you really I, just I, can't I'm afford out. to you deal know, with if, right if now if this was shark tank conservatively and i love you dearly if this was shark tank i'd be sitting there listening to this and i would say i'm out i want nothing to do with this this sounds like fiscal irresponsibility this sounds like a hope and a prayer and there's really no real boots on no, the ground it's, solution. it's fiscally irresponsible yeah, to continue totally to irresponsible. spend money when we don't COVID have money. it you we don't have it Zeus. you want to take COVID funds and build your no it's misappropriated that? COVID funds it's it's money that they found yeah. in an audit that COVID money was supposed to go to certain places and they found that it didn't so it's just sitting there so there's extra COVID funds oh, that I, are in the I, budget I, I, and I, what they want to do is who throw misappropriated that. those funds I'm just curious um it, well it would be the Democrats because oh, they were the ones that were in charge okay yeah they're the ones that no, were in no, charge no. all right listen conservative Lynn I do got to move on to our next guest but it was great checking in with you okay yeah, I do please, but Zeus please do make sure it's congress.gov it's not Yahoo News or Twitter where you're going to find the bills that I gave to you just so you okay. know okay uh to the people out there you know you, you heard conservative Lynn give you her sources yep, congress.gov all right all right well listen you you clearly have people that uh, somehow you've hoodwinked and bamboozled, okay? Hoodwinked and bamboozled? Yeah, yeah. Cause I'm giving so specifics on because bills and giving you a synopsis of, of the bills that I read? Right, but, but, but what I don't get, though, is the same people who are sending you gifts on TikTok, they get out here and start crying about they don't have any money. I don't get it. Why does it? Let me just ask you this, because I, you know what, you and I get along, and you're on the left. But I just want to ask an honest question: Why does it bother people on the left so much when people on the right get gifted? Because I really don't oh, care oh, no, no, no. if it's someone on the gift. left gets it, gifted. It it no, really no, no, doesn't no, no, no. affect me. But people will literally shut down entire lives to turn the gifting off. Oh. Because they're getting so upset that other people are getting. Oh, oh okay. Can, let me let me let me help you get some clarity on that. I I have no problem with you making your money. I, you know me. You work That's hard. Right. You deserve you deserve the fruits of your labor. But, but what I, what I do what I do have a problem with is the lies. Either what you lies? don't got the money or you do. Don't what get lies? out here. Don't get out here and start trying to patch your pockets down and say, I ain't got no money. Biden's tearing up this country. But then you're turning around and sending Donald J. Trump your cash. Okay. No, I'm not I sending listen, Donald I'm Trump money. I'm born at night, but I'm not born last but night. But Zeus, who's fool. sending Donald Trump money? You and your I'm friends. I'm not. I've never sent Donald Trump money. Well, some of your friends do, okay? 
Oh, so, so some well, no, I don't really know of anybody that has sent Donald Trump. Oh, 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 so I know of several people. Oh, thank you for the gifts. Now I gotta move on, okay? But uh, as you can see, I have no problem talking with people on the other side of the aisle, folks. I'm ambidextrous with it, okay? I really am. But I, I ask that you be honest. So conservative Lynn, thank you so so much. But I got yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me up, Zeus. Please make sure you go and uh, peep those bills for me, okay? Okay, yes, I, I definitely will. And I hope that you do what I said do as well and start holding the Republican Party accountable because they've taken one hell of a L this week, wouldn't you say? No, absolutely well, not. Well, well, let me remind you, James Comer had no dirt on the, on the Bidens. That's uh, not true. Actually, George there Santos, was a letter. Hold on, hold George on. George no, 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 Santos no, 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 got no, no, no. indicted and arrested. Like, well, nobody cares about okay. So, so, nobody it's really cares. For the Republicans. Nobody Sorry. cares about George Santos, but actually, there was a letter sent to the Department of Justice <laughs> by the Republican Party okay. with all of the evidence for them to actually start pressing charges and gave all of the evidence on their uh, okay. probe. Okay. So I, I would I wouldn't say just yet that uh, you know the Biden family is in uh, the well, well, I for, highly for, doubt for, that. For what it's worth. We got to let the facts be what they are, okay? And as it stands, in the time frame of just this week alone, things aren't looking good. Now, I got to move it on, all right? Ladies and gentlemen. Just remember that no matter what, some of these poll numbers are up, not down. Okay, okay, fair enough. Uh, Have a good one, Zeus. Uh, all right, you too. All right, ladies and gentlemen. See, uh, this is, ladies and gentlemen, a great example of how ambidextrous Zeus is. Listen, I talk to people on the left, I talk to them on the right. I know it's tough to deal with it, but I listen to these folks because I don't want them to try to accuse me. Well, they can if they want to, I don't care. But I listen to them because when they try to call me out and say, well, Zeus, you didn't listen to me. No, I did, I had you right there. You lied, you spread misinformation. If you didn't know you were lying, I'm telling you, you may have been lying. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Wow. That was interesting. I must say, oh, we got a lot of people. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, all right. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Yeah. I'm oh, I hope this works. Thank you, uh, Rick, for the gifts. How you all doing, right. Zeus? Yes. Yes. Greetings, uh, brother, brother Greg. You, you, you uh, see what a, what a privilege. Him. Huh? What a privilege! What a privilege to follow conservative Lynn. Mm. Well, listen, uh, it's one of those days. The Democrats are doing good this week. There's no, we have nothing to worry about. Like I said, the track record for the Republican Party this week is not looking good. Okay, no dirt on the Biden. George Santos. George Santos had to go put his hands behind his back, and Jim Jordan didn't get anything uh, out of Mark Pomerantz with relation to that Alvin Bragg investigation. Yes. Alvin Bragg. Tell him. Um, real quick, Representative Mary Glusenkamp Perez came out and released a statement about HR2, which she clearly read. Um, oh. And, and what it, why she voted against it was the bill prevents churches and faith-based organizations oh. from being able to provide humanitarian work in their communities. Oh. So, so that, so we say, read the bill, read the bill, and let's prove these guys wrong. Let's let's gift the hell out of me. You know, they say they say that it's just the, the conservatives that get gifts. How about somebody throw me? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, but that's but that's but that's what um, one of the concerns that she had. So they said she grew up. Her father was a pastor, and she said that it's very essential work. Uh, to have people they serve help them. And um, they said the churches don't need federal government meddling. Wow. Um, it also mandates the use of the burdensome E-Verify program oh. without providing solutions to help small businesses oh. um, and in agriculture employees high wor hire workers who harvest our food. So this, so this provision only harms the economy and makes life more difficult in rural oh. communities. Oh. So, uh, so what, what they, they, you're saying is I didn't get the full picture. 
Right. I mean, it's it's really nice when it's painted, you know, as a as a uh, a great package deal, um, and and that's beautiful. But that's not actually what it does, and that was one of the main complaints that uh, they had that this specific representative had about the bill. And again, when we I talk wish about I this, known that. yeah. So, and and the other day, I was told to read a bill um, or two, Please. and I did read I did read a bill or two. Hmm. There is a bill from Matt Gates. It's very easy to read. It's like uh, it's like a couple paragraphs. It's about disbanding the ATF. Oh, um, de it, wait, defending the police? Well, yeah, so d disbanding the ATF uh, wow. because they're coming after people that, you know, they don't like wow. or, or that uh, that are that are in the party. <laughs> so the, the bill literally so the bill literally reads. This is a bill to disband the ATF. The following paragraph says the ATF is now disbanded. Wow, that's a that's a bill. Uh, that is in the Republican circle, and so that's um that's a hell of a bill right there. It's very short and sweet. Unbelievable. Um, and so uh, when we're talking about all this stuff, we have to remember that Republicans are not going to mention in their bills what they're actually doing because if they did, John Stewart would come out and say, "Hey, why are you cutting?" Veteran, why? Why would why would Republicans and I'm say in a bill? Some veterans too, by the way, get ready because see, I, I knew there was something about those bills that I heard that I didn't like. I could sniff it out. Okay, uh, you're right. cutting funding to the folks that need it. And if if we're taking it back to fiscal 22, that means that we're cutting from all the programs, infrastructure. We're cutting from veterans. Tell them. We're going to cut from border security, which is what the Republicans love. So when you take it back to 22, you're going to be taking these things away. Is that so the I don't campaign understand. slogan, take it back to 22? Is that some campaign slogan I don't know about? Well, if they want to take it back to 22, <laughs> they're going to they're gonna have a, a nice pebble again. Oh, in the in God. 24 because it was supposed to be a red wave but what had what ended up happening was we had a what we call a a red pebble oh, right and oh I just looked at my gifts I just looked at my gifts hell yeah, yeah. let's get it to 1k if yeah. you support you know your boy Greg here we there gotta go. we gotta show that we're thriving with Biden right thriving with but Bi we're thriving with Biden That's okay right. thank you Rick thank That's you Rick right. for the gifts thank you mr. Wick yeah. Well, thank you so much. Um, look, at the end of the day, I get yelled at in these conservative lives about, um, oh, April. Oh, oh we're so strong. We're so strong. Andy, we're so strong. Saying. We're not mad so at you doing what look you want. Look at all this strong money. and strength. We're not mad you're doing what you want with your money. Just stop lying to us and saying you don't have it. We yeah, hear so. You. We see them in these TikToks, Greg. We see them. They're sending each other gifts. Lions, you know what those cost. They're sending them. Universes. Whales. Maga, whatever it is. <laughs> Maga Fruit, I can read bills. I just read it. I just read something nah. to you that was in a bill about <laughs> denying churches Woo! humanitarian aid. So oh. uh, why is the federal government interfering in humanitarian aid? What is up with that? What are you are you like uh are you okay with hey, hello. you know churches spending all this money? Why are churches not taxed? Uh, Why are we not taxing the churches? Oh you I mean look save Latina cut it out. Tell them, Greg. So again, like I understand that it's been a very tough week. Tri you know, we've had we've had they call it triple L's. They call oh. you triple H, but we call it triple L's because we had George Santos L. We had uh, Donald Trump L. He was convicted, oh. by the way. Oh, it's yes. just because it's a libel case doesn't mean he wasn't convicted. Right. So uh, an L this week. No, he took two L's now that I think. Dang. Yeah, and, and unlike Big Sean, he's not taking an L and bouncing back because he's got a couple L's to take. You know, last night I took an L, but tonight I bounced back. That ain't right. that ain't gonna be Donald Trump. Donald Trump ain't backing back or back and <laughs> taking whatever from shit. Um, keep it clean now. Keep it clean. Uh, oh, I need the I need the disposal uh, yeah. sound. Yeah. Um, and and also I heard in a conservative live this week, and this was probably the funniest one.
Tell me. I heard that really the that Trump was making a CNN crowd happy and that that CNN crowd was actually Democrats because, you know, CNN is associated with Democrats. Um, to the people in the back that oh have not goodness. received the memo, oh this was God. a Republican-friendly crowd of all Republicans. There wow. were no Democrats in the audience. And we wow. know that because the exit polling suggested Thank so. Thank you. So Thank I know you. that I know truth might be a little hard to take, but it's unbelievable wow. how they spin this to themselves. I heard this this week, and it was unbelievable. They what? really believe that Donald Trump had Democrats clapping for him. He does not have Democrats clapping for him. Democrats support cool. Joe Biden. They're not moving to Donald Trump. They're not, they're, Donald Trump is not gaining support. He might have a boost in polling because his sycophants are really excited right now. And they're, they're, they're doing a great job. And, and you know what? Let me tell you something. James Comer was on television, and you said this earlier in your broadcast today, and, he's, and he was checked by Steve Ducey. Ooh. And Steve Ducey told him that you go. don't, you have not provided evidence that ties no. anything to Joe Biden. None! Biden so what are you doing? It. So, so, so they're, what they're gonna do is they're gonna sit on this for a year, and then they're gonna, and I get it, they're frustrated because we had you know, uh, four or however many years of, of investigations and, and everything. But you know what? There's a reason why Donald Trump is being investigated. And if you read the Mueller report, you tell me to read a bill, you would see read the Mueller report. You would That's see that Donald friend. Trump would have been charged with obstruction. Bob Mueller himself said so. The only reason was because he was president that he didn't get charged. Right. So despite what Bill Barr said, where he changed the wording of the Mala report for the summary when the statement came out. What he did right. was he said that Trump, I, I forget the exact words, but it was something along the lines of Trump, neither evidence to obstruct or neither evidence to prove or evidence <laughs> against. He, he didn't make it. He didn't make it essentially like that. And, and right. as attacking said, if you read the Mala report, 110 Russian contacts to Trump, were disclosed in the Mueller report, and that was 448 pages. Did you hear that? Ladies so, and gentlemen. So, keep, it's over. so, so if you want to lose a fourth straight election because you lost in 2018, Remind you them. lost in 2020, Remind you lost them. in 2022. If you'd Remind like to lose them. again, and if you'd like to give Joe four more years, because guess what? They're oh, going to vote for Joe just we because, get those four more because years. Trump is the, the, uh, his opponent. People will vote just because he's the opponent. And I know you don't like that, but that's just cold, well, hard wait, facts. Wait. But, 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 Greg, I got to ask this question because there's people out here in the comment section. They're saying you're lying. They're saying you're, of making course it, they are. you're making it all up. What do you say to those people? I tell them to get their head out of the sand and stop mm. following a man blindly. That's right. Because look, most people that are in cults don't know they're in cults until they're out of them. And if you've seen, if you've seen you the go. actual exit interviews of cult members, yeah, most of the time they come out and they say, uh, you know, we had no idea we were in a cult. Right. We, we were completely, uh, you know, misproven. Like, like, and, like um, the folks that have been convicted for January 6th, do you, do, you, do you follow what they say after they get convicted? That hammer comes down. So, so they get convicted. Yeah, they, they, they get yeah. convicted and they say that Donald Trump brought them there. They don't say Ray Epps brought them there. Never. Not even. You know, I mean, see. they never, never once said that. Never. And Ray Epps, by the way, Ray Epps, if you watch the 60 Minutes interview, had to relocate his family along with the two election workers in Georgia because Donald Trump sicked people on him. Mm. That's what he did. He, he loves to deflect blame from all of his problems because he lost the election and got embarrassed by Sleepy Joe who beat him from the basement. So um, if you watch the January 6th hearings, no, someone Rick. that said proof, 
text it now. If you watch the January 6th hearings, you would have seen their sworn testimony under oath, not on CNN, Thank you, yes. you know, where Donald Trump can say whatever he wants. Um, and, and look, I love these comments. You got him this time. Um, he was president of the United States and had executive privilege. If you don't know what that means, go look it up. He could and not be charged. Yes. Okay. And so, so you, you really need to understand how this works. I know a lot of you are remedial. You came here because Donald Trump brought you here. And to the people talking and, about Tara Reid. We're going to deliver you, by the way, if you just listen to yeah. what we're saying, we'll deliver you from this. I've phone. seen about seven comments about Tara Reid here. Let, let And I'm going to get off here because I got to go inside. There's more people. Tara Reid was debunked in 2020. Fact. Tara Reid came out during the election of 2020. Do you know what trended in the middle of the night? Tell them, Greg, uh, all they, the time. they got their ears closed, but they listen, and I know they Right. Are. In the middle of the night, you would wake up to see Tara Reid trending. You would wake up to see Biden is a S.A. or trending. You know why? why? Because the people in Russia, which we know were infiltrating all of these apps, Russia. were making it trend in the middle of the night. Who's up at three in the morning getting a subject to trend? Wow. And wow. there are multiple there are multiple contacts that Tara Reid Russia. had with russia and she actually was writing love letters to vladimir putin talking about how she loved his government so all of that stuff came out and we saw everything online and she was praising joe biden be up until uh the 2020 i, I think it was it was either 2016 or 2020 um she was praising Joe Biden, saying he was the great mentor and all this stuff. And suddenly she changes her tune after she got compromised. Yeah, after she Russia. was compromised by Russia. And she's going to go under she's going to go under oath to Congress. She's saying her life is in danger. Wow. Her lawyers, wow. her lawyers dropped her because she changed her story wow. five times. Wow. So, again, we're wow. revisiting a thing from 2020. That was that was already debunked. That was already debunked. It's already been disproven, it and it's here. only coming up again because the election is happening again in 2024. Oh, and that's it. Her lawyer said she was the most. Um, she I, these aren't their exact words, but they dropped her because she was very dishonest. Oh, so and, and this and is you can guy. you can. So this, this is the person they wanted to put their hat on and, and they say terry terry well congratulations today in the closet of truth we've just debunked the whole terry i have an entire twitter thread that i, I made in, in in 2020 about it because people were so confused mm. um and i made it and and i still have it up on my page on twitter oh. um i wish i could i wish i could pull that up right now but there were so many weird things that happened with her that were just strange like she was behaving weird she had like these weird uh contacts that she was talking to and she was a, she was a bernie bro wow. and then the only reason why she changed was because of course bernie didn't win but anyway i'll let you go um and um you know, you have a great rest of your day in the kingdom. Uh, thanks for all the gifts. Yes. Um, and uh, I know, I know, Janae, it's hard to believe it when you get told the truth. I understand. Hey. So strongly, so true. We're telling the truth. Yes. We'll see you. All right. right now. See you. Yes. Thank you. So as you can see, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we, 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 we are here in the closet of truth because something of great importance have, has happened this week. Seems like the Republican Party just keeps taking L's and failing to deliver to the American people. Trump CNN performance, Trump uh, verdict found, he SA'd E. Jean Carroll, okay? And amongst other things, the, the testimony that I heard in that case still gives me chills to this day, okay? He tried to clean it up, he didn't. Defamation, get him, he's guilty. Then we, we move it over to James Comer. James Comer, everyone in the Republican Party, show me Hunter Biden's laptop and please show me the crimes. And it came up empty handed. As a matter of fact, the only laptop 
that they don't want to talk about seems to be the one president or former president Donald Trump had with those classified documents. Oh, but the Republicans, they took more L's. They did. They did. We also had George Santos. I, I saw the news. He got arrested. He went and turned himself in. Yeah. Yeah, George Santos. That's what happens when your leader is Donald J. Trump. You got to do the time. You do the crime. You do the time. And then we cap off the day today, Friday, with this three-page statement from Mark Pomerantz given to this guy right here, Jim Jordan, telling him, relax. Alvin Bragg is doing his job. And if you believe we are a country of law and order, then you don't need to talk to me. You need to let this thing, this trial play out before you then rush in and start making judgments. Okay, but if you don't want to listen to that, I'm going to say one more thing. I'm invoking my Fifth Amendment right, Jim Jordan. So in other words, go back to doing that stuff you were doing before you started trying to bring me into it, which is wasting taxpayers' money. Shame on the Republican Party this week. And I know there's some good Republicans out there. I'm not talking to you. Hello, Wakanda. I'm not talking to you. But for the ones that continue to support Donald J. Trump and his, and his shenanigans and his crimes, shame on you. Yeah. Shame on you. Oh my gosh. All right. Um greetings, dude. We meet what? again. <laughs> what's up, Zeus? Yeah, what's up? You you see I'm out here doing doing the work of the kingdom. You right? you you are you are doing God's work, my friend. Absolutely. Hey, right. I, I I expect nothing less, right? <laughs> Uh, if, if there's if there's anything I appreciate, uh, it's a man who's about his business, and, and you are exactly that. Exactly, and I appreciate those kind words in the kingdom. Absolutely, man. Um, mm -hmm. I, I just wanted to come up uh, to to kind of talk about uh, maybe the way I'm feeling these days. I, I'm Ooh. feeling like there there is a lot of disingenuousness mm. uh, going on. Right, like I, 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 I hear you talking, man. Uh, love the message, and and you know you're Trump this, Trump that, and all these Republicans are such bad people, and they're corrupt, and Fox News, mm. they're, man, they're evil, right? Like, why would you lie to people? Why would you do that? Mm. Uh, so, I, I guess that's my question: is why why are we lying to people? Uh, not you. Uh, I'm not saying you are. Um, it's a your question. Yeah, right. You're you're just you're just kind of uh, reporting the information, right? There you go. Yeah. 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 You you you're you're giving the news, and you're like, hey, here's what the news says. Here it is. Um, but do you ever feel like uh, media as a whole uh, is corrupt, or do you ever feel like uh, politics as a whole are corrupt? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I do believe there are certain segments of all things that could be corrupt, as you could say, right? You can find corruption in any any walk of life. I do believe that. Absolutely. All right. Well, fair enough. Right? Um, I mean, I, even in the Democrat Party, even though, you you know, you hear me saying, like you said, I, I see uh, the Republicans and Charles Boy. You can look over here in the Democrat Party as well, and and, and we can find corruption. So I I don't want to I don't want to give that illusion, okay? Because I think it's important that you are a truth seeker and you do your due diligence so that you know how to sift through the information that you're presented with. That's what this is about. There it is, right? Like uh, Santos, get him out of there. Get him out of here. Get him out of there. Get him yes. out of there. He, he did not deserve to be in Washington. He lied he to lied. everybody to get to where he was. Now, get that mother guy out of there. Keep it clean. Now, 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 should yeah. we fault the people who voted for Santos? No. Be, you, you, you can't fault people who were deceived. Okay. So, that's it, right? If you right. are deceived, then to a certain degree, we can't say it's your fault. So, 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 ah, ha, ha. I think we're coming to a point here. Um, so, so to believe that one side could be so deceptive 
and their following could be so deceived and to preach for another side like, ha, oh, you guys are so dumb, you were deceived. And the other side is like, well, you were deceived too, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and, and like, that's, I think that's where I'm trying to come to. Right. Do we truly believe that this thing we call the US government is straightforward with us? Come on, the same government that, that conducted the Tuskegee experiment the same yeah, they're, they're 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 100 it uh, the democrat party's 100 the republican party woo you know okay, okay, but okay, the okay. democrat party they're, they're on the up and up what are you, what are what are the alternatives to, to uh, that's that's what i'm saying i think the alternative would be for all of us to to look at these politicians and say we're not going to vote for any of you right but 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 we we know okay so we can look at things on a local state national and then global level right yeah as as critical as we are of our government i still sit back and say this is probably one of the very few countries that exists on the planet where you can openly criticize your government the way we do as americans right well, well that uh, that that without that really exist. having to worry about you know your your liberties your freedoms being at risk sure i, right? I think that I think on the lower level of of or the lower class level, I think I you're, mean, but you're you probably wouldn't correct. This, you wouldn't do what you're doing. We wouldn't be having this conversation in, in a country like Russia or China. Or right? North Korea. Right. No, we, we would not. You're, even you're absolutely correct. So so perspective, as far as I'm concerned, is 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 critical to understanding how to move and maneuver in the American space, in the apparatus of the United States of America. Right? Yeah. There's yeah. not going to be uh, a day where everything is perfect. The whole goal is to strive towards that goal. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. You get better each and every day. Your goal shouldn't be to be comfortable with the status quo. And what we're running into, as far as I am concerned, is, you know, when you hear catchphrases and stuff like, for instance, I'll say it, make America great again. Mm -hmm. That to me leaves a bad taste in a lot of people's mouth. Well, it, why didn't it leave a bad taste in your mouth when uh, Bill Clinton said it? Uh, I don't or know. Or did it? I, I don't it. know that it didn't. Bill, right, right, did it. right, right. But, you know, it's like this. If it's new at that time and it's innovative, that's great for that moment. But mm -hmm. if you go further in life and you go back and look at that, sometimes you realize even though it was innovative, it ain't working. For instance, the Force Pinto. Are you familiar with it? Yeah. The little, okay. Yeah, yeah. It probably was a great car floor. when it came out. <laughs> yeah, I know. We both know we're in a different time right now. That right. car serves no purpose. Right. I, I, I agree. So to, to ask me to invest in you building a company to make those cars, you're asking for a lot as far as I'm concerned. And that's the dilemma we're feeling right now here in the United States. We're not going back to those things. Okay. Well, well, I, I, I ask you, I ask you this then, mm -hmm. uh, Zeus, mi yes. mi Mr. Mr. Zeus, uh, King, <laughs> King of Olympus, uh, God of Olympus. I ask you say? this, um, Is that what they say that, that, and you know, that's what they're saying out here in these TikTok streets. Um, mm -hmm. that, that's yeah, what I hear. That's but mighty kind of you. I, I ask you this, does our country seem to be going toward more parties or does it seem to be going more toward one party? And, and, and then I follow that up with, if you have a country who loses opposing ideals, do you then have the United States of America? Are, aren't Democrats just as essential to Republicans as Republicans are to Democrats? And why then aren't we meeting in the middle of the aisle to figure these things out? But then why is our government electing more or why are we electing and why is our government putting more politicians in front of us that are more polarized and we are essentially going to one party is going to be gone and then we are going to have a lack of ideals in a society that was built to have a substantial like a plethora of ideals. Mm, that's a, those are several questions, uh, brother, dude. What would you say if you had to simplify that into one question? How would you simplify that so that I do we really do we truly want a an an all powerful party 
in this government, in, 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 this, in these United States, do we, like, we, we think at where we are right now, you know, us as Democrats and Republicans or independents or whatever we are in this nation, we're truly polarized and we think, oh, as long as it's on my side, it's good. But, but then when, when our society starts to, we only have two parties. So if it gets too polarized, there is only one party. Well, Are there any societies that you can think of throughout history where there was only one party and one party had power and there was no option? Mm. Do we really want to be in that place? Democrats need Republicans. Republicans need Democrats. And these people need to work together the way we vote them into office to do. Mm. Well, you know, I, I, I don't necessarily know if the solution uh, can be ascribed to a party in particular. But, you know, what we want is a system that works for the people, right? For all the people, right. Uh, and if we got to use parties to get such a system, then that's what it is, okay? Well, um, I, I can promise you this, that no, and, and I'll leave you with this, no country or society on this planet has, uh, I would say, like, the, the type of views where you can consider it like 90% to 10%. Mm. Not one single country on this planet. It is generally 50, 40, uh, or I'm sorry, 60, 40, uh, 50, 50, 40, 60. It's, it's never an outright, uh, you know, dominant weight to one side. So uh, well, somebody's well, going to get left out. If, well, if we start to, to get to the place the where it's just we're voting that's, in that's the just same the party. way the cookie crumbles. But before you go, right, you did yeah. a great job asking Zeus about his kingdom. <laughs> uh, I, I do have a question to ask yes, you yes, uh, as it relates to your current set of beliefs. Right. Yeah. You haven't disclosed what party you belong to. And that's fine. OK, I can. I no, can. No. OK, what uh, are I, you I, doing? I, I'm a register. I'm a registered Republican, and um, I, I think by well, yeah, I, I don't. I don't know that I'm going to unregister as Trump? a Republican. Did you vote for Trump? Yes, sir. Twice. Well, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I, uh, once, once, once. Um, I I moved. Uh oh, he 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 got a call. He got a call. No, oh, I didn't get a call. I'm back. Oh. I'm back. Oh, okay. uh, I voted for Trump in 16. I would have voted the same in 20, but I moved uh, across the country and I wasn't registered by the time okay, I, I moved right, right in the middle of election season. So. Okay, but, 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 but so but the reason I ask that is because uh, I talk to a lot of Republicans and they tell me just because I'm Republican doesn't mean I am a Trump supporter. So I yeah. wanted to ask you, in your opinion, uh, what is the difference between a, re a, a regular Republican and a Trump supporter, if you believe there is a difference? Yes, I do believe there is a difference. And oh. uh, I think the only reason that MAGA aligns with Republicans is because Donald Trump himself ran and won as a Republican. I don't think they're the same thing at all. I think there are things that there, there are similarities. Um, I would have I was already a Republican before. Uh, 2020. He he was the representative, but I did like that he was, and I think this is what Donald Trump, I think this is his main accomplishment. Donald Trump brought awareness to the corruption in D.C., and I don't care what side of the aisle you're on, that was exactly what he was supposed to do, and if he's not able to run again in 24, so be it. Right. He served his purpose, and I think, but uh, now what we're seeing is we're seeing parties go after e and all they're doing is just going after each other, right? They're, they're using every little thing that could have happened. Oh, you, we're, we're you say Donald Trump, for this, I go back for that. Like, you said he, right? he, did you say he exposed the corruption or did you say he was also the corruption? No, I, 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 I Do you truly think through don't... his corruption, this all is starting to come out more than... No, no, he, he, and here, I'll give you my honest answer, Zeus. You, you don't have to, <laughs> like, drag it out of me. Um, yes, he exposed, I think he exposed the corruption. The funny part is, is that the actual corruption is not being paid attention to at all. Instead, what we're seeing is people go on witch hunts the way, the way they have with Trump, they, they haven't really done anything substantial. And now House Republicans 
are going after uh, the, the Democrats and Hunter and, and, and Joe on, on the same witch hunt. And all the while, we're fighting with each other and we're just like, yeah, go Joe, yeah, go Trump. And we're, we're arguing about nothing and nothing is getting done for us. Can I ask a follow-up question about yes, the corruption? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did Donald Trump bring, in your opinion, any element of corruption to D.C.? I know he was supposed to drain the swamp, but the reason that I ask is because for, I couldn't understand why so many people in his orbit kept getting, you know, arrested and indicted. I just couldn't understand that. And starting off with Michael Flynn, it, it just seems yeah. like from Michael Flynn on, it was downhill with everyone in his orbit. He, here, here's the thing. I, I'm, I'm going to give it to you raw, dirty. I'm going to tell you the way DC would tell you. And, and, and keep uh, in mind, we're at the point where his own vice president has testified against him. So Yeah, yes, sir. I, I get it. So the only way I can describe it to you is this man took office, right, as a registered Democrat in, in, in the circles of all Democrats, um, and, and I mean, let's talk about blue dog Democrats, right? There's a lot of old Democrats Wait a that are blue Listen, dog Democrats. We can't go that far. I'm talking about Donald Trump himself. All right, well, then, 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 then we'll put it this way. Donald Trump was a, a registered fellow Democrat for years. Um, he, he was on the side of LGBT. Uh, the, the man, the, the man, you, you can research him going back decades supporting I, LGBT. I, I, so I, from, here's my thing, right? I wanted you to sit here on TikTok in front of, you know, right, what do you want me to say? Up here. I wanted you to say, I am fully aware of Donald Trump's crimes as well. Okay. What, what, what crimes, what, what crimes are you speaking of? And I'll, I'll say yes or no. Well, I don't know if I could even mention them if it's if I say anything, you're going to say, well, no, we no, but buddy, I, I'm not that kind of Trump supporter. I, I voted for him. That's it. I've never given his campaign a dime. I've never bought a t-shirt. I'm not even the guy on here that types Trump 24. Like I don't give a shit. So, oh, well, keep it clean now. You know, oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't, I don't give a crap. Okay. But I'll, I'll just throw one out there. The situation yeah. with Alvin Bragg in New York, you're familiar with it. Y yes, sir. I am. Um, Paying those hush money payments, uh, there's question, well, not question, the investigation uh, was triggered by that, and now there's 34 felony counts that they're bringing against Trump. What are your thoughts about that? Um, I mean, if, if, if he misappropriated campaign funds, obviously that needs to be addressed, right? You're not allowed to do that. Um, there, there are many, we, we have quite a few examples of politicians misappropriating campaign well, just funds. It, but I'm only asking because you said Trump exposed the corruption, yeah. but, but in the process of him doing that, I'll give it to you. He exposed it in the process of it. What I'm, uh, what I've observed is he himself is involved in a lot of this corruption and, and, and what is not, what's, what blows my mind is why is it so hard to say? Yeah, Trump broke the law. Yeah, he well, did. I, I, do, I don't know if he at, at that point, I don't know if he's as involved with um, the, the, the corruption I would be talking about is like um, mm -hmm. more like, you know, why our Congress has been able to be a part of. I of, can't go there. No, see what you get trading and things like that. Like, what, like how do our politicians become rich? Sure. What you're what you're getting into is abstract algebra, right? I just want okay. some good well, old clean. It, 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 did, was, was Trump was Trump uh, uh, was was, I he want a, good was he a butthole? Did he did he did no. he grab him by the whatever? Yeah, I'm sure he did. He so, he, he, so. he's a, he's an outspoken arrogant uh, butthole. Yeah. Wait 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 wait. But 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 I think I I think I made it as far as we can because I do got to try to bring up someone else. But right, I want to sure. make sure you know in this in this conversation you and I had the the part that I felt we kind of still need to do some work on <laughs> is at that at that point when I asked about his crimes when but all what, this you didn't give me a there, crime, you, huh? You didn't give me a crime. I get well. I said the Alvin Bragg. Uh, you know, the, the okay. hush money. And, and I, I told you uh, him paying hush money in and of itself is not a crime. That's, okay. that, that's literally called, you, 
Like but you, you know what that's was... called, right? You're you're but... allowed to pay somebody. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm, well, still, I'm still here. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Well, I but mean, yeah, you're you're allowed to sign a document uh, for for a, a sum of money that says, "Hey, I won't talk about this." I, it's okay, called I, NDA. Yeah. Yeah, but but at least before you go, I wanted to say this about that. From my vantage point, and a lot of people out here agree with me, the fact that a former president is in this situation says a lot about his conduct. Well, we we had an actual president in the Oval Office who was who 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 had an intern with a blue dress and they had pictures of it. Like he, this man did it in the Oval Office. Yeah, but, but, Trump but, but, did it before he was in the office. But but it's they've settled, all done it. it. It's settled law. You go in the past and you reach for those <laughs> things. That's settled law. It's settled. That's business. what I'm saying. And that's you why that's why establishment politicians are bad. Zeus. But 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 you every time I try to put you in I never I want to nail you down and say, look at this Alvin Bragg <laughs> case. You turn around and you find Bill Clinton. You turn around and you find Joe Biden. No, I just no, want, no. I just Trump, want an honest Trump, Trump. conversation about <laughs> Donald. What about, okay, here's an easy one. Yes, sir. Classified documents. The classified documents. Hey, if 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 he went outside of, of the, the protocols that, that he was not supposed to, or or that he was supposed to be inside, yeah. I'm sorry, you can't do that, buddy. Okay, and, and, and it's and it's pretty interesting that the FBI had to show up at his house in order to get those documents, right? When you yeah. say that that's a cause for an alarm, like well, the, the, the not FBI didn't right. have to show up. Um, you know how Joe Biden's lawyers kind of <laughs> kind of said, "Hey, he's got some documents here." Um, okay. For months, <laughs> for months before the FBI showed up, right. Trump's lawyers were were in contact with the National Archives. So it, it, it wasn't just found out when the FBI raided him that he he was hiding documents, right? Like they knew he had the documents. Yeah, okay. They knew they were in contact. Okay. Well, all right. Listen, uh, my good friend, dude, I appreciate yes, this, this dialogue. Okay, it was a very good conversation, you know, and Absolutely. I appreciate it. All right, and uh, I'm hey. going to bring up our next call, uh, guest. Hey, I love you, brother. Thanks for having me on, man. I, I love you, too. Take All care. Right. Have a great weekend. Yes, sir. Later All on. Right. You too, man. Mm -hmm. See, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as you can see, we we just go through the truth. We, we discuss it out in the open, and, and, and you have the right to believe whatever you want to believe, but you can't say the truth was not delivered. Donald Trump is currently under criminal investigation okay on multiple fronts okay yes attacking i know you've been waiting for quite a while come on up in the box and let's testify yeah i i just want the folks on the right to understand the reason we have to ratchet it up and bring up these things is because when we bring it up very nicely we end up talking about bill clinton and hunter biden it's like we don't want to talk about that we want to talk about trump uh attacking First off, let me say, have you seen the video of Donald Trump saying he doesn't care about America? I have not. Well, he did. He said it on the town hall when Caitlin Collins asked him about the debt and about not using the debt crisis as, a, as a wedge. He did. And Donald Trump says, I don't they, care. There are people saying show it. April Hold says on. show it. Hold on. Because they don't believe you. Donald, they, Donald, they don't no, believe April's you. on the good side. He said, I don't care. I'm not president. So he only cares about things when he's president. He doesn't care about being an ex-president worrying about America. Mm, mm. So he said it in front of the audience, in front of the American people, that he doesn't care about the debt crisis that's going on mm. unless he's president. Oh, so you can see people. He doesn't care about you. He cares about himself. That's right. And his actions do support that based on my uh, observations. And, and, you the know, last person, and the last person that you just had on, he said, if Trump did something in regards to the documents, Donald Trump himself said he had the right to, even though the um, 
Presidential Archive says, no, you don't. You cannot take them. It's within the policies of the program. You cannot take them. You're no longer president, and you do not have the right to declassify them because you are not president, and you, could do, and you cannot wave a wand to say they are declassified. Right. Okay? So Donald Trump was asked nicely first, please return these. We know you have them. Some people out here attacking are saying you're lying, you're making it up. Trump did have the rights. What do you oh, say to those I'm, people? Of course, of course I'm lying. Yes, of course. But it's verifiable information, which basically I have on my page with on videos. Mm. But hey, don't look at those because those are documents. Mm. But the thing is this, Donald Trump even said that he has the right to show the documents because he owns them. Mm. And... And that's not true. He doesn't. And that's not true either. So there's a nice little sound bite for 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 uh, Jack Smith. <laughs> um, the thing is this: uh, you had conservative Lynn, and then Greg came up. Uh, conservative am Lynn. I not, said, am I not doing a decent job juggling both sides of this? You right? are doing a fantastic job, like you always do. Uh, I'm going to bring up. Two, I'm going to bring up two articles in regards to what they said. What they say. Uh, there were no balloons flying from China under Trump. Well, the DOD, and I made a video of this too while they were talking uh, to Greg and over talking to him and yelling at him, calling him stupid. Uh, the thing is this, I put a video up showing that the DOD says, yes, there were balloons from China that flew over America under Trump undetected. And they didn't tell us. Now, either, either the DOD is horrible at their job or they mm. just didn't want to tell trump mm. now mm. also also well, well, well. To according Trump. according according to my understanding they yeah. didn't want to tell trump they're great at their job but right. they didn't want to tell him because they were afla afraid he was going to flip out and do something uh terrible to the country so they like used a nuclear weapon to bring it down Yes, yes. He, because he's not a kind of leader that you can go to when there's a crisis and think that he's going to be rational. Well, as we know from um, Biden here, Tillerson and Milley and a whole bunch of uh, generals that worked for him. Yes, uh, they tried not to tell Trump things because he is irrational mm. and would act inappropriately. Uh, also, another one was about the uh, the budget bill that the Republicans proposed. Again, I brought up information regards to going back to the 2022 funding. Yeah, 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 yeah. That. That's what, that's what uh, conservative lean. Exactly. And I just brought up. I just brought up perspective. And I just showed up. I just showed one article where it says they were going to be cutting 133 billion dollars from uh, from a. a, a, a a benefit and i don't have it off the top of my head my computer's wow. in the room i wasn't oh, gonna no. do that but anyway yes well, again yeah. so greg was bringing all this information up but they didn't want to listen to him and then what did what did what did conservative lynn say read the bill well the thing is i read the bill and it doesn't specifically say anything but going back to the 2022 it is going to cut funding for other organizations even like Meals on Wheels for Senior well, Citizens. It's going to cut funding. What yes. about the part? What about the part about the border? And I gave uh, I gave her a hypothetical. I said there's 150,000 people at the border. How many will it stop? From and what I understand, 2,000 Border Patrol agents will be lessened. Also, the thing is this, Donald Trump and the 400 miles that he built. Nope. Mm -hmm. It was 52 miles, just like I have said. Oh. So does the wall stop people? No, the wall does not stop people. Mm. Um, uh, better security what with day, drones. What about the seven days that it would take to implement this Republican bill? Is that true? Um, I've been constipated for seven days, so it ain't gonna work. <laughs> Keep it clean. That was, that was clean. That was clean. Yes, <laughs> but, anyway, have those but anyway, um, and and the and the last guy that you just had up in regards to Donald Trump and criminal activity, he hired billionaires to work for him, like Betsy DeVoe. Um, he hired his own cabana boy to work in 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 a in a in a, in a, in a section of the government. Uh, he didn't bring up the best and the smartest because as soon as they get in trouble, uh, I don't know them. I've never seen them.
I didn't know I brought a criminal into BC and I was exactly. working next to him. Oh, and by the way, within the Mueller report, it says that Paul Manafort uh, put in the, put in the the uh, the Republican um, uh, platform to remove sanctions on Russia when Trump takes office. It's in the, the Mueller Manafort, report. The one, his campaign manager. Yeah, the, the yeah yeah that guy uh, uh, Paul Manafort who was uh, convicted and put in prison. Yeah, yeah. that guy there. Uh, he removed the sanctions on Russia because Trump was taken taken the presidency, mm. and uh, it's in the Mueller report. The four hundred and forty pages that that I've read. Also within the Mueller report, it was uh, Michael Cohen being offered a pardon if he didn't say anything. Wow. Uh, about Stormy Daniels. Wow. You know, a whole bunch of it, really a well, whole bunch of pertinent information. Oh, by the way, there were Russian connections with Eric Trump and Don Jr. in that Mueller report. Yeah. Oh, his kids are involved. Yes, his kids. Let me ask you something. Uh, oh, and Jared brother, Kirshner, too. Brother Attacking, let me ask you something. Yeah. That always troubled me, and it, and it gives me nightmares to this day. Right. You know, they, they, they talk about Hillary Clinton. Do right. you remember during that time when Donald Trump was doing during his campaign and he said, Russia, if you're listening, find me those 30,000 emails from Hillary Clinton. You remember when he said those words? Yes. Do you think uh, that was him cooperating with Russia? Trying yes. To? I, yes. Uh, I knew it. Because Donald know. Trump has been in bed with Russia for a long time. I mean, he did have the, the beauty contest in Moscow. And there is a video of Donald Trump saying, uh, he, he was being interviewed in Russia, that there is in talks about building a Trump Tower in Russia. That's also where the, the letter of intent came mm -hmm. about that was drafted by uh, Michael Cohen to mm. build a Trump Tower in Russia. That right. letter was also released. Mm. And then Donald Trump lied to the American people that no, he's never been in discussions with building a Trump Tower in Russia, even though the letter itself says so. You hear this? Also, Maybe also you in regards to Trump uh, and have, using his DOD and his IRS, uh, his IRS just happened to investigate um, um, Co uh, not Cohen, Comey, James Comey, on oh, his really? taxes. Wow, on his taxes, and wow. another FBI agent. I forget. I forget the guy's name. The blonde hair guy with the glasses. They investigated them. They did an audit on two of uh, two people that were investigating Trump, Comey, and the other FBI agent. Wow. Kind of funny how the IRS agents picked two people from the FBI that worked together against Trump. This is this is alarming at so many levels, uh, brother attacking. And do you think Trump supporters know this about their their leader? They do not care. Just kind of like with the the I don't say conviction. I'm saying the confirmation of the liability of his sexual assault against mm. E. Jean Carroll. See, it's a confirmation. They confirmed he found him liable. It, it which holds him liable for five million dollars so see they don't care about him essaying a woman they don't because there there are there are parents in this life men and women who would put their children on the altar to save trump's butt they will do that well, well, they don't when care you, when you when you say that you're referencing uh a part of the scriptures right you know right. i think it was abraham that did this from the last conversation uh he was trying to sacrifice his 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 son to god so right. what we're, and, and i've seen these 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 videos of people praying to donald trump they got i mean there's a lot of stuff out here folks don't just take our word for it these people worship Donald Trump. They he worship can, Donald Trump. He can do no wrong. Um, for them to wave a fake flag with Donald Trump's face on Sylvester Stallone or Arnold Schwarzenegger's body as he is a well-built, buffed, tough guy who they bought his NFT You made me card. laugh when you said that. that well his his NFT cards for $99 by paying this billionaire, so-called billionaire, your hard-earned you money. Um, 
I will say he's got two or three billion dollars. But he doesn't have the ten billion that he bragged about. Bad. Because there you go. He's saw, always lying about his son. We saw we saw we saw his tax his tax documents that were released two months ago. The thing is this. Uh, he was a race car driver as he was soaring through outer space on a horse <laughs> with all these <laughs> with all these NFT cards, you know, say that he's all this major stud. But if you really look at it, uh, the interview in Puerto Rico where he's sitting at a table mm. and they have a front camera picture of him and you see his legs with this big bulge of a diaper in mm. his crotch. <laughs> yeah, that's what Donald Trump is. Nasty. Mm. Yeah. So for and, and for any of you who, who, who say that Joe Biden's a pedo. Keep it clean. Uh, Without any information, I have made the same offer in this in his in, in Zeus's broadcast or mass voter fraud. I have made the offer. I'll give you a thousand dollars if you show me information to mass voter fraud like Donald Trump claims. I put on my bio just this morning the place where you can look about documentation and court transcripts and proceedings for 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 voter fraud. There yeah. is no mass voter fraud. There that, were audits. Yeah. Republican ran audits. They did not find voter fraud. Trump again lied to you. Also, I put on, on my bio a video from Donald Trump in 2016 saying that he will only accept the election if he wins. And mm -hmm. then I put the 2024 comment made now, on the town hall now 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 that's a lot of that's a lot of truth you got there attacking going uh and, and i appreciate and i commend you for always being willing to go above and beyond to bring the truth okay but there's one more question that i wanted to ask you before i move on to our next guest okay right right um if you were to re rate the performance of the republican party this week uh, what would you rate it? And keep in mind, what I'm referring to is, one, we we, we, uh, we know James Comer failed to produce anything about Hunter Biden or President Biden, about mm -hmm. the crimes or the laptop, failed. Uh, right. Trump had a hell of a week, right? I mean, we had E. Jean Carroll, we had the CNN town hall. We have, we have George Santos, okay, getting indicted. And, 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 and then we have... Uh, Mark Pomerantz right here telling Jim Jordan, I'm not going to tell you anything. Uh, where would you rate the performance of the Republican Party this week? Minus 1,000. <laughs> uh, due to the fact, just like with Hillary Clinton running in 2015 for the presidency, uh, you had um, um, Minus uh, Kevin, Kevin McCarthy coming out and saying, we put together a special Benghazi committee to make her her points go down for the election and mm. it is working and wow. what did they do what did they do they did nine investigations nine republican reports and they all said the same thing that hillary clinton was not the cause of the attack on benghazi the mother of chris stevens the fallen diplomat mm. they came out and did a re, uh, did a uh, an interview saying that they do not hold uh, Hillary Clinton responsible for the unaliving of their brother and, and, and son. And it was the Republican Party who did it due to the fact that they defunded the security staffing. That's why it was less. Mm. Donald, J, Donald J. Trump uh, and the Republican Party are in cahoots in regards to January 6th. That's why, that's why, that's why Jim Jordan didn't go and, and honor the subpoena as he is trying to give other people subpoenas to come talk to him. And the person that was the uh, investigator in New York who wrote the book, Ooh. he doesn't have to come and talk to Jim Jordan about that. You know, you Ooh. have, you have Alvin well, Bragg. Well, 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 attacking. Uh, yes. I know I think we're about to wrap it up, but all right. there, there's people in the comments as you as you highlight all of those areas of crime of the former mm -hmm. president and, mm -hmm. and, and people like Jim Jordan. Right. They still say you're lying. If if there was a way, if there was uh, something you could say to them to help them recognize you're telling the truth and you're being honest, what would it be? I can't say it because this is uh, a, a proper form that I could not. 
Okay, so you want to keep it clean. I want to keep it clean for you because what I really want to say is you won't let me say it. Yeah, please don't. Okay. Yeah. I I, I just I just wanted to see if there was if there was something you could say to help them understand that you're not making this up and you're not lying. Okay. Go look in the mirror and truly ask yourself, is everything that Donald Trump has said over the past seven years truthful mm. or misleading? Mm. Do do the um do the um I forget what the what, what it's called, but write a piece of paper down, truth or facts, truth or truth or lies. Okay. Draw 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 a line down the middle and write down different things. Okay. And if you put more lies on one side and no truths on the other, Jack Smith. then you know then you know that you've been fooled. Uh, the thing is, is you guys have been fooled. And mm. we're trying to give we're not trying to change your mind. You have to change your own mind. Mm. Donald Trump has never shown you one piece of documentation in regards to voter fraud. Mm. Not one. The Republican ran audits showed the same thing. What does it take for you guys to realize Donald Trump has done nothing but lie to you? Mm. Not one. If, if you can show me That's right. the documents in regards to mass voter fraud, not yeah. voter fraud, the word is mass, right. enough to change the outcome, show right. me because, because none of because, you have seen it. And because Donald when Trump, they show us the example of the suitcase, I'm like, do you think the contents in that suitcase amount to the number of votes in the entire right United states it's so in and the ruby and the ruby freeman comment even if it was that suitcase but yeah but hold on the ruby freeman comment in georgia she ran one set of ballots through and i have the video because i have the security tape to georgia it was oh. it was out there for you guys to look at it took her 17 and a half minutes to run one batch of let's say 35 to 50 ballots through and every time that she put it through it jammed she had to unclear the machine restart over until her daughter came and opened up the machine pulled out a piece of paper that was causing the jam the fourth time they went through that's when they ran fully amen tell them attack you but you guys want, but you guys want us to look at documents but yet you won't look at the true security tape of the of what the incident is come on guys it's right in front of your face fair enough fair enough all right, all right. thank you brother attacking drop <laughs> drop me down so you can bring somebody else up please all right all right all right uh so ladies and gentlemen as as you can see we 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 we've gotten to the point in the live where, where zeus does have to run i'm so sorry all right I do. I am very sorry, but you know, I didn't know I was going to be in here this long. I really didn't. <laughs> but we have brought the truth once again to the closet of truth. To my friends on the right, you got to do a lot more than what you've been doing. Okay. It's not helping the American people. You got these folks you voted for out there doing God knows what instead of helping the American people. Now, before I go, oh, my good friend April is coming up. I wonder if you're going live to carry on this conversation, April. Are you going live? Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a late live because I've been busy. My son graduated college today. That's what oh, I'm okay. doing. Oh, okay, congratulations. What did he graduate in? Excuse me? What did, what did he major in? Engineering. Woo, what kind? Do you know? Uh, mechanical. Mechanical. Oh, yes, Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, give us <laughs> a round of applause. Excellent work, sir. Keep up the good work. Zeus says it. Okay. So, yeah, so you're doing that today? Yeah, yeah, I think I'll go on for a little bit. I, I hate I missed your morning show. You know I'm a, a, a loyal <laughs> a loyal supporter of yours. I know. Love the truth. I love I the truth. Hey, hey, you know, I put these videos all on YouTube, so and, and that's so people don't have to feel obligated to be there in the morning. But the show must go on, and I thank you, all, as always, uh, for tuning in. 
All right. Well, thank you, Zeus. You have All a right. great day. I just wanted right. to tell you hey. Hey. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, follow April if you want to continue conversations like this. I'm telling you, she does a better job than I do, hands down. Well, uh, that concludes the live, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what time it is. Uh, you know, I got to do it. I got to do it to the Trump supporters. Here we go. Trump supporters, get those knee pads ready. Because Jack Smith is coming. <laughs> Have a good weekend.